Hey folks, it's John. You want to know about an easy way to set off a bomb in your aquarium and kill all of your fish. So you're sitting at home looking at your aquarium thinking, this is looking a little bit boring. I, I, I need to do something with this. I need to add something to here to boost the activity in the tank. I'm bored with this. So you head down to your nearest pet store to pick out some new fish to add to your boring aquarium. One of every fish keeper's favorite things to do. <laughs> we are such a bunch of nerds. When you get to your favorite store to buy fish, you see they're running a special on zebra danios that are a good size. They're like an inch and a half long. These fish are awesome. They're really pretty. And you want to talk about adding activity to the tank. Whoa. So you talk to the employee and he says, yeah, these fish will have no problem in your 40 gallon tank and they'll be fine getting along with the other 10 fish that you have in your aquarium. This is where you start getting really excited and you start having these visions of seeing those fish in your tank and all of the activity and it's just gonna be crazy. It's gonna be so much fun. So you say to the employee, yes, bag me up 10 of those bad boys. Gotta take advantage of this sale. You bring these amazing fish home you set them in the tank to acclimate them. You're so excited. You, you get them out of there, you put them into the new tank and boom, they just burst with activity. They're all over the place. And you say, hey, I have accomplished my mission for the day. This is beautiful. Now you just have all this activity. It's, it's exactly what you were looking for. And this is the thing that kind of reinvigorates the hobby for you. It, life is great, but it's very possible that you've just lit a fuse and eventually that bomb is going to go off. Everything is going great. The fish are all getting along. There's all kinds of activity. You're feeding them twice a day. You're keeping up with your maintenance. You're even putting a little bit more food in there because, well, there's more fish in there now and they're so active you figure, well, they're probably going to build up more of an appetite. So you just keep throwing food in there. And after a week or so, you wake up and everything is normal. You feed your fish and you head off to work. What a beautiful day it is. Then you get home that evening after a long day's work and you just can't wait to see your fish and you go to the tank and you say, oh no, there's like four dead fish at the bottom and all of the other fish are up at the top kind of gasping for air. What did I do? Well, what happened is one of the most common mistakes that we make in this hobby. And no, it's actually two mistakes. The first mistake is adding too many fish all at one time. We all know the nitrogen cycle by now, right? If you don't, if you're still unclear about it, I'll put a card up in the corner, go watch that, familiarize yourself with the nitrogen cycle. But now let's move on. Your aquarium had established itself for the 10 fish that you already had. You were doing your maintenance, you were keeping up with everything and everything was great but then you added 10 more fish to there, which increased the bio load and the bacteria couldn't keep up. When you add that many fish at one time, you're not only increasing the load that you're putting on that tank, but you're probably also gonna be throwing more food in there because, well, there's more fish in there. That means we need more food. More food equals more waste. More waste equals more ammonia. Your bacteria does its best to keep up. It's trying to handle all of this new waste and all of this new load, but eventually it just can't keep up and everything crashes. This is why I said it's like lighting a fuse and eventually that bomb will go off. The second mistake is impulse control. Every single fish keeper has done this. We see something that we like and we just have to have it. Sometimes this will work out, but sometimes the impulse is so powerful that we can't control it and we ignore the basic fundamentals of this hobby. The bottom line to this video is do your best to control your impulses. Do your research before you buy fish and also control that urge to buy too many at one time. Because if you add too many fish at once, we've already talked about, you're lighting a fuse, that bomb's gonna blow. Just add the fish gradually in smaller groups. Believe me, you and your fish will be much better off for it. So there you go. Now you know adding too many fish to your aquarium at one time is like setting off a bomb in your tank. And you also know that you need to learn how to control yourself when you're in the fish store. 
I know how difficult that is. I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to also ask if you liked it, why don't you do me the favor of clicking the like button? It definitely helps us out and gets us found by other people. And if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're putting these videos out every week along with a couple other videos every week. So having all kinds of fun if you want to join in, subscribe, click the bell, do all that good stuff. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next week where I'll tell you something else you ought to know.